Hobart Class Air Warfare Destroyer, the Guardian of Southern Hemisphere. Introduction The Royal Australian Navy, RAN, Order 3 Air Warfare Destroyer dubbed Hobart Class is based on the Navancha-designed Alvaro de Bazan Class Frigate, F-100 Frigate, currently in service with the Spanish Navy. The Air Warfare Destroyer Program, known as SEA-4000, delivered three advanced multi-role warships to replace the FFGs of the RAN. The AWD reached its final operational capability, FOC, in 2021. Mission The ships of Hobart class provide air defense for accompanying ships in addition to land forces and infrastructure in coastal areas and for self-protection against missiles and aircraft. The warships can be tasked with integrated air defense, surface warfare, surveillance, and undersea warfare. Design The Air Warfare Destroyer, AWD, Alliance Consortium coordinates the work of Spanish ship maker Navancha, the Australian shipbuilder ASC, Mission Systems Integrator Raytheon Australia, U.S. Defense Contractor Lockheed Martin, and the Australian Department of Defense. The HMAS Hobart is 146.7 meters long with an 18.6 meters beam and 7.2 meters draft. The HMAS Hobart can sail at 28 plus knot speed and an operational range of 4,500 nautical miles at 18 knots. The warship complements 180 crews. Aegis Combat System the 7,000-ton Hobart class is the first class of Australian warships AWD is built around the US-made Aegis Weapon System Baseline 7.1. The Hobart class is fitted with one of the most technologically advanced phased array radar systems currently available, the Inslash Spy-1, which is paired with the ship's main weapon, the 48-cell MK-41 vertical launching system, capable of firing Raytheon standard missiles, SM, of all variants as well as the RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missile. The SM-2 interceptor missile provides an advanced air defense system capable of engaging enemy aircraft and missiles at ranges of more than 150 kilometers. The ships are also fitted with a modern sonar system and are additionally armed with surface-launched torpedoes as well as harpoon anti-ship missiles. All three ships also operate the so-called Cooperative Engagement Capability, CEC, a new wide-area integrated air defense system. The other armament includes MK-45 5-inches 62 caliber gun, 225mm M242 Bushmaster on Typhoon mounts. The ship's self-defense mechanism includes Nulka Active Missile Decoy System and one Phalanx CIWS. The ship's anti-submarine warfare capabilities include hull-mounted sonar, towed array sonar, and MU-90 torpedo. The ship is fitted with a hangar and one anti-submarine variant helicopter, MH-60 or Seahawk. Propulsion The AWD is equipped with a combined diesel and gas, Kodag, propulsion system. The Hobart class is equipped with two General Electric Marine Model 7 LM2500 gas turbines producing 17,500 kilowatts, 23,500 horsepower, each. The ship is also equipped with two Caterpillar Bravo 16V Bravo diesel engines producing 5,650 kilowatts, 7,580 horsepower, each. The warship has two controllable pitch propellers. Ships in class the HMAS Hobart, pennant number DDG-39, the lead warship has been operational since 2017. The HMAS Brisbane, pennant number DDG-41, ship was launched on December 15, 2016 and commissioned in 2018. The Royal Australian Navy's third and final air warfare destroyer HMAS Sydney, pennant number 42, was launched on May 19, 2018 and commissioned in March 2020. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.